A health alert for women who use straightening chemicals or relaxers. Scientists uncovered a connection between those products and an increased risk of cancer. CBS 4's Mandy Gaither has a closer look at this study and what led its author to encourage women to educate themselves on this issue. It's a popular way to straighten hair, but chemicals and relaxers may increase uterine cancer risk over time. These products can contain a lot of different chemicals of concern. Alexandra White is lead author of a new National Institutes of Health study, which followed more than 33,000 women for nearly 11 years. Women who reported using chemical straighteners um, or relaxers had about a twofold higher risk of going on to develop uterine cancer. White says that estimate is for those who reported using the products more than four times in the previous year. A majority of those who reported using straightener in the study are black women. In 2022, the American Cancer Society estimates there will be nearly 66,000 new uterine cancer cases in the U.S. and mortality rates from the disease are rising, particularly among black women. So these chemicals are placed on your scalp um, and they can be absorbed um, into the, your bloodstream and then they circulate throughout your body. In another study, the same researchers found that permanent hair dye and straighteners may also increase breast and ovarian cancer risk. You know, a number of factors can influence a woman's risk to go on to develop cancer, um, but this is one potential source of exposure um, to chemicals and potentially carcinogens um, that women could be aware of and could make choices um, to not use these products. I'm Mandy Gaither. By age 70, uterine cancer risk for women is about 1.6%, and that jumps to 4% for those who use the hair straightening products. Other hair products women were studied uh, were hair dyes, bleach, and perms, but the research found no link with uterine cancer risk with those products.